Hey, I'm an integral on the board from the MIT Integration B 2015. This is problem number 10. I think this is going to be a pretty quick one today. The thing that stands out real quick is the um, we have ln of x and then we have the derivative of ln x in the, uh, in the denominator, or if we separate out, we have 1 over x. So this looks like a good candidate for a u substitution. Just to make this clear, I'm going to rewrite this, though in a way where we can see it. So we'll have ln of one plus ln x times one x, one over x dx, so that we want this to be our du here. So we're gonna set our u equal to ln of x, then taking the derivative of du equals one over x dx, so there's our du. And then we can substitute and see what happens. And here we've got our simplified integral. It's still not entirely clear what we should do, except for the fact that whenever we have something with just an ln, we usually want to do integration by parts. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a little one in front. Of, so we're going to do integration by parts by the di method. And what we'll do is we'll create two columns, one a d to differentiate and one an i to integrate. And then we're going to have, we have two functions here. We have our one and we have our ln of 1 plus u, so we'll differentiate this ln as we don't necessarily know how to deal with it as an integral. And then we'll integrate our 1. And then here, in this column, we're just going to have alternating signs. So then if we take our derivative of ln of over 1 plus u, this is going to be 1 over 1 plus u. And then our integral of 1 is going to be just u. We can keep going, but this is an integral that we can do right here. So let's stop. Um, we take on diagonal our first value, so we're going to have u ln 1 plus u, and then minus, because we have a minus sign here, the integral of u over 1 plus u. Then for this integral, we could do long division, but it's really unnecessary. This is kind of the simplest case possible. We could just add a 1 and subtract a 1, and then let's rewrite this and look at it. So then we'll have our u this part of our answer, u ln 1 plus u. And then notice if we separate it out, this piece here is just going to be a 1. So we're going to have minus the integral of 1 du. Then this is a minus with a minus, so this last piece is going to be a plus um, 1 over 1 plus u du. And so you notice where we have it now that each of these integrals is really simple. So let's just do these out. So we're gonna have u ln one plus u minus integral of one is just u plus the integral of this is just gonna be ln one plus u. So we'll have ln opposite value one plus u plus c. Then from here, all we need to do is back substitute with our u in here, 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 and here. So for our final answer, we're gonna have ln x times ln of 1 plus ln x minus another ln x. You can see there's going to be a lot of lns in our answer. Plus ln plus ln 1 plus another ln x plus c. I checked in the MIT integration B, um, absolute value signs are not required, but I think I got it. Yeah, because that one isn't, and this one is, so. That's it, MIT Integration B 2015, number 10. Thanks for watching.